You're right, wonderful people. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Heister, and we are in Prehistoric Kingdom again today. And uh, today we are building a giant warehouse, which um, I went from having one idea to another. And the original idea was to build like a giant vet area where we could allow dinosaurs to come through to be checked on. But that's going to be another episode now, I think maybe a couple of weeks time. Uh, for this one, we have like a giant research sensor, but it's more like a... Um, I say research, it's where, you know, you, where all the computer people are sitting down doing their bits and bobs on the computers and uh, they've also got an area where they can relax and have a bit of a, a bit of chill out time as well. You've also got an area in the middle which is kind of like a waiting area. Um, I do feel that um, it kind of uh, has a nice kind of like industrial vibe to it. So I, I do like that kind of architecture where you've got sort of um, like yeah, it's like an industrial style, but also with a touch of modern put into it as well, where you can see like adaptions where they've taken like an old building and made it look quite modern with the furniture and the walls and stuff inside. So that's kind of uh, the plan that I went with on this. Now there is a lot of uh, metal beams about, but again, that's part of the look. That's to give it that industrial style. But I've tried to spruce it up by adding some nice things. Now in the offices downstairs as well, we have um, some tech walls, which you're going to see a bit later on in the episode, about halfway through I think, because I didn't end up having that idea until I was coming through and I was like, I kept looking at the walls, I was like, I like those plain concrete walls because you can adjust them to how you want, but I thought I needed a bit more depth in there and a bit more style. So I had a look to see if I can make a prefab of a wall and the good thing about this game is that you can actually create one single wall segment and then you can keep using that and keep placing it along so it all lines up which is really really cool so you can make all different types of wall designs by using more pieces and it comes out really nice so i went with a more of a um like a more not sci-fi but more of a futuristic style where you've got some metal you've got some vents and you've got like a bit of pipe work going along it as well uh, for the desks, I made some custom desks, I made ca custom chairs, I made custom keyboards, I made a computer including the wires on the back, uh, I made a cup, I made some books, I made some planters, uh, I kind of went a bit full, full kahoot here and just made everything pretty custom but I managed to save things like the chair, the desk, the table, uh, all those sort of things as prefab so I can just literally pick them up again and place them down instead of recreating it over and over again. Now I also wanted to add in some digital signs which um, gave off some nice light. Now the lighting in the game is very bright and when you have lights in the game none of the objects inside give off shadows and it looks a little bit poor in my opinion. It doesn't give that nice shadowy effect which light should give. Um, so I was using the letters which you can have like an luminous, to, uh, luminous colours you can choose for them and I would use them instead of using light. So I ended up making some like boards which look like futuristic panels with some like different colors and a bit of text on them and some items and that. So again, I think I'll be working on more of those, making some more props and things to make them look really good. Now in the middle, I think I just mentioned earlier, I made like a nice little seating area. Again, I used the uh, sort of no objects where you've got random shapes like uh, an oval, a circle, uh, a hexagon and all those so I was using those for the sofa and I um, also used a wooden floor for a carpet which I think came out quite well but I'm still a bit iffy on the colour I didn't know what to go with whether to go for blue or green uh, I think I went with green in the end there's a, like, a grey border on it and uh, yeah I think it kind of adds that little bit of a kind of a professional feel in the middle but like a kind of a modern but a comfy area as well for the guests uh, not the guests but the staff to come through or any visitors that may be you know you might have a long coming in the waiting area uh, i built some custom tables which uh again have kind of an industrial look to them they're kind of wood with metal and uh yeah i think they suit the area quite well to be honest now on uh, the buildings on either side what i done i built one side completely and um it it was incredibly time consuming like i enjoy doing it and i think about 70 percent uh through the actual full complete build i started to get a little bit kind of like I just want to get there now, I just want to finish here, I want to, you know, have it done. So when I built the left hand side, which is what I started on, uh, I put so much detail into it, I put fire sprinklers along it, uh, a bit like the ceiling as well, if you did see the ceiling at the beginning, like I added all the details in that like the joints, the brackets, all for support on the roof, so then just copied and pasted that along. 
Um, but again, that took two or three hours just to get everything bang on, like just how I wanted it. And then, yeah, on so back to the second level. So I, I added in the sprinklers, added some lights, added in some more support on the ceiling, added in two little rooms in the middle where you can kind of go into. Uh, they're like maybe storage rooms or maybe like a little toilet or something or a kitchen, something like that. Uh, but you've got a nice little waiting area, not a waiting area, but like a, a rest area where you can go up on top, you can look out on the balcony, so it's quite nice. And on the other side, you have the kind of what I would call like the cafeteria area where you've got um, some food available. Um, but again, the lighting that comes off these uh, items that are pre-built, which look fantastic, by the way, you've got so much detail in there, which is what I really like. So you've got cups, you've got, uh, they actually make a better coffee machine than I did, actually. I should have took some uh, copiness off of that because they look really good. You know, you've got little things like cups and plates in the sink as well on their, on their prefabs that come with the game. And they look really good, but the lighting that comes off them is very, very bright. And again, because there's no shadows from the lighting effects, it kind of makes it look a little bit poo-poo. So, I, you know, I, I, I can't really remove the lighting on it, but I'm going to keep it anyway. But there's an area there, yeah, where they can go and have something to eat, uh, sit down. Um, on the end as well, the buildings right at the back, you've got two lifts. Um, obviously, just in case you want to go up, one takes you up, one takes you down. Uh, they both go up and down, like most lifts. That's how they work. <laughs> um, forget myself. Uh, yeah, so you've got a lift going up to all, all all the floors as well. So on the third top floor, which is uh, yeah, the, uh, the top floor, you've got the components where you've got like the, the aircon units and you've got like a, a set of uh, like storage where you've got excess chairs, backup computer monitors, boxes and tables. You know, like when you go into an area and you work somewhere and they've got like a load of stash of goods which they haven't used or they like spare parts. So I kind of did that up there. Uh, for the building as well, as I was going along right near the end, I decided to go with the brickwork as well in terms of the style. Uh, I originally I was keeping the concrete wall, but I was looking at some old industrial warehouses, mainly uh, British ones. Uh, and I, I actually believe that there is um, there's an area in England somewhere where they have some really old houses and they started to build modern houses. Like I say modern, but just kind of newer builds, kind of more like a box shape. As you know, houses in England are quite small now. And... Um, they, they 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 had this thing where they agreed to build the houses like the old buildings on the road. So instead of having like this big row of Victorian houses and then having these new square modern houses connected to them, they would continue the style all the way along. So you had these brand new Victorian built houses and they looked fantastic. Like they they looked like they was, you know, very old buildings, but in great condition and it was a fantastic kind of style thing. So that's why I really like the building and the warehouse kind of vibe and like I say, you, from the outside, it looks kind of like an old building, but inside, and it's like brand new, it's been done up. It's all been, you kind of work with what you've got, so you've got the metal and that. And yeah, I just kind of feel like it gives it a nice little twist to it. Now, as always, guys, I'm going to let you go uh, for the rest of the video. hope you enjoy it. Uh, I will jump in at the end as well, and maybe we'll go on a little tour, or I'll just do some cinematics. Uh, I haven't decided yet, but who knows. Uh, yeah, so enjoy the video, guys. Thank you for coming along, and I will catch you very, very soon. Thank you for watching, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.
Yeah.